Hello doctors, welcome to the lecture series of the muscles of upper limb. In this video lecture, we will discuss the muscles of the scapular region. The muscles of the scapular region connect the shoulder region with the humerus bone of the arm. Students, the muscles of the scapular region has total six number. The deltoid muscle, the supraspinatus muscle, the infraspinatus muscle, the subscapularis muscle, teres minor muscle and the teres major muscle. Students, among these six muscles, the tendons of the supraspinatus muscle, the infraspinatus muscle, the subscapularis muscle and the teres minor muscle. They form a capsule around the shoulder joint and thus they are called the rotator cuff muscle. Students, these tendons around the shoulder joint, they are responsible for the stabilizing of the shoulder joint. Students, first we will discuss the anatomy of the deltoid muscle. So, student, the deltoid muscle is a triangular in shape. This is triangular in shape, as you can see. And this muscle has three parts. This is the anterior part, as it is located anteriorly. While this is the posterior part, as it is located posteriorly. And the part present between the anterior and the posterior is the medial part. So, the deltoid muscle has three parts, the anterior part, the medial part, and the posterior part. Now, student, moving toward the origin of the deltoid muscle. So, the deltoid muscle has three origins. First, the anterior part originates from the lateral one-third of the clavicle bone. This is the lateral one-third of the clavicle bone. So, the anterior part originates from the lateral one-third of the clavicle bone hence it is also called the clavicular part now student the medial part as you can see it originates from the acromion process of the scapula this is the acromion process of the scapula we have discussed the osteology of the scapula in the previous lecture so the medial part of the deltoid muscle originates from the acromion process hence it is also called the acromial part now the posterior part originates from the spine of the scapula. Student, this is the spine of the scapula bone. So the posterior part is originated from the spine of the scapula, hence it is also called the spinal part. Student, the deltoid muscle move inferiorly and inferiorly and laterally to the humerus bone, and it insert on the deltoid tuberosity. This deltoid tuberosity is the rough elevation on the lateral side of the humerus bone. Now student moving toward the blood supply of the deltoid muscle. So the deltoid muscle is supplied by the thoracoacromial artery. Student this is the uh, this highlighted artery is the thoracoacromial artery and it is also supplied by the anterior and the posterior circumflex humoral artery. This is the anterior circumflex humoral artery while this is the this is the posterior circumflex humoral artery now student moving toward the innervation of the deltoid muscle student the deltoid muscle is innervated by the axillary nerve this highlighted nerve here this is the axillary nerve this axillary nerve has the nerve root c5 and c6 now student moving toward the action of the deltoid muscle so the deltoid muscle is responsible for the abduction of the arm and the anterior fiber or the anterior part of the deltoid muscle is responsible for the flexion and the medial rotation of the arm while the posterior part is responsible for the extension and laterally rotation of the arm no student to overview the deltoid muscle as we have discussed it is triangular in shape and it has three part the anterior part medial part and the posterior part the origin of the deltoid muscle, so it has three origin, the lateral third of the clavicle bone, the acromion process of the scapula and the spine of the scapula. To the insertion, the deltoid muscle insert at the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus bone. The blood supply of the deltoid muscle is thoracoacromial artery and the anterior and the posterior circumflex humoral artery. The deltoid muscle is innervated by the axillary nerve. And the action of the deltoid muscles is the abduction of the arm and the flexion and the medial rotation of the arm, the extension and the lateral rotation of the arm. 
So this was all about the deltoid muscle of the scapular region. Now student moving toward the another muscles of the scapular region, the supraspinatus muscle. Student the supraspinatus muscle originate from the supraspinous fossa. This is the supraspinous fossa of the scapula bone. So the supraspinatus muscle originate from the supraspinous fossa and move laterally and a little inferiorly and passes under the acromion process. This is the acromion process and insert on the greater tubercle of the humerus bone. Now student moving toward the blood supply of the supraspinatus muscle. Student the supraspinatus muscle is supplied by the suprascapular artery. Here this is the suprascapular artery. This highlighted artery. This supply the supraspinatus muscles. Now student moving toward the innervation of the suprascapular muscle. The suprascapular muscle is innervated by the suprascapular nerve. Now student moving toward the action of the supraspinatus muscle. So the supraspinatus muscle is responsible for the abduction of the arm and it is also one of the muscle of the rotator cuff so it also play important role in the stabilizing of the shoulder joint now student as we have discussed the anatomy of the supraspinatus muscle now we will overview the supraspinatus muscle the origin of the supraspinatus muscle is supraspinous fossa of the scapular bone while it inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus bone the action of the supraspinatus muscle is the abduction of the arm and it stabilizes the shoulder joint the blood supply of the supraspinatus muscle is the suprascapular artery which is the branch of the subclavian artery while the supraspinatus muscle is innervated by the suprascapular nerve now student moving toward the another muscle of the scapular region the infraspinatus muscle student the infraspinatus muscle is present inferiorly to the deltoid muscle this is the deltoid muscle and this muscle here this muscle is the infraspinatus muscle so it is present deep to the deltoid muscle so student moving toward the origin of the infraspinatus muscle the infraspinatus muscle originate from the infraspinous fossa this is the infraspinous fossa of the scapula bone student this muscle originate from the infraspinous fossa and move laterally and superiorly and insert on the greater tubercle of the humerus bone now student moving toward the blood supply of the infraspinatus muscle so the infraspinatus muscle is supplied by the scapular artery the scapular circumflex artery this artery the highlighted artery is the circumflex scapular artery and student the infraspinatus muscle is also supplied by the suprascapular artery the upper part of the infraspinatus muscle is supplied by the suprascapular artery students now moving toward the innervation of the infraspinatus muscle the infraspinatus muscle is innervated by the suprascapular nerve same as the infraspinatus muscle the infraspinatus muscle and the the infraspinatus muscle and the supraspinatus muscle is supplied by the same nerve which is the suprascapular nerve now student moving toward the action of the infraspinatus muscle so the infraspinatus muscle is responsible for the lateral rotation of the arm and it is also one of the muscle of the rotator cuff so it play important role in stabilizing the shoulder joint now student moving toward the another muscle of the scapular region the teres minor muscle student the teres minor muscle is located inferior to the infraspinatus muscle and deep to the deltoid muscle this is the deltoid muscle and this is the infraspinatus muscle so it is located inferior to the infraspinatus muscle and deep to the deltoid muscle moving toward the origin of the teres minor muscle teres minor muscle is originating from the inferior angle of the scapula and it moves superior laterally and insert on the greater tubercle of the humerus bone now student moving toward the blood supply of the teres minor muscle so this highlighted artery supply the teres minor muscle which is the circumflex scapular artery student the teres minor muscle is also supplied by the posterior circumflex femoral artery this is the posterior circumflex femoral artery femoral artery 
no student moving toward the innervation of the teres minor muscle so the teres minor muscle is innervated by the axillary nerve this axillary nerve also innervated the deltoid muscle and it also innervated the teres minor muscle no student moving toward the action of the teres minor muscle student the teres minor muscle is responsible for the lateral rotation of the arm and it is also one of the muscle of rotator cuff so it play important role in stabilizing the shoulder joint no student moving toward the teres major muscle student the teres major muscle is located inferior to the teres minor muscle and deep to the deltoid muscle this is the teres minor muscle and the teres major muscle is present inferior to the teres minor muscle and deep to the deltoid muscle student the the teres major muscle originated from the inferior angle of the scapula bone this is the inferior angle of the scapula bone and it move laterally and superiorly and passes under the humerus bone and attached to the are inserted to the lesser tubercle of the humerus bone now student the teres major muscle is supplied by the circumflex scapular artery this highlighted artery this is the circumflex scapular artery student the teres major muscle is also innervated by the posterior circumflex humeral artery this is the posterior circumflex humeral artery no student moving toward the innervation of the teres major muscle the teres major muscle is innervated by the lower subscapular nerve this is the lower subscapular nerve no student moving toward the action of the teres major muscle the teres major muscle is responsible for the medial rotation of the arm now student as we have discussed the anatomy of the teres major muscle here we will overview the teres major muscle the origin of the teres major muscle is the inferior angle of the scapula while it insert on the lesser tubercle of the humerus bone the action of the teres major muscle is the medial rotation of the arm and it is supplied by the circumflex scapular artery and the posterior circumflex humeral artery student the teres major muscle is innervated by the lower scapular nerve no student moving toward the another muscle of the scapular region which is the subscapularis muscle student the subscapularis muscle is present on the ventral side of the scapula bone and it originate from the subscapularis fossa of the scapula bone this is the subscapularis fossa of the scapular bone so the subscapularis muscle originate from the subscapularis fossa and move superiorly and laterally and insert on the the lesser tubercle of the humerus bone this is the lesser tubercle of the humerus bone now student moving toward the blood supply of the subscapularis muscle so the sub subscapularis muscle is supplied by the this highlighted artery which is called the thoracodorsal artery and it is also supplied by the circumflex scapular artery this highlighted artery is the circumflex scapular artery now student moving toward the innervation of the subscapularis muscle the subscapularis muscle is innervated by the lower scapular artery sorry the lower scapular nerve and the upper scapular nerve this nerve here this is the this is the upper scapular nerve so the subscapularis muscle is innervated by the upper scapular nerve why and the lower subscapular nerve now student moving toward the action of the subscapularis muscle the subscapularis muscle is responsible for the medial rotation of the arm and as it is one of the muscle of rotator cuff so it play important role in stabilizing the shoulder joint now student as we have studied the anatomy of the subscapularis muscle now we will overview the subscapularis muscle that the origin of the subscapularis muscle is the subscapular fossa of the scapula bone and it insert on the lesser tubercle of the humerus bone the action of the subscapularis muscle is the medial rotation of the arm and as it is the muscle of rotator cuff it play important role in stabilizing the shoulder joint the circumflex scapular artery and the thoracodorsal artery supply the subscapularis muscle the innervation of the subscapularis muscle is the upper and lower subscapular nerve so this was all about the muscles of the scapular region in next lecture we will discuss the muscles of the anterior compartment of the arm region